Oh, hey, we have some talent points left. Not much we can do with them, though. Okay. I'm hoping this is the end. It looks like it. This game has been very long, and these videos turned out bigger than I expected, so... I'm going to have to recompress them, which is going to be unpleasant. So far away from home, even if we survive these aliens, will we ever be able to flight back? I'm not sure what flighting back entails, but I don't think I want to do it. Whatever our scouts detected our first encounter, they look more brute than normal. Kill them, sigh. You're a robot, what do you even care? Freaking robots. So. Let's go on and murder people, as we always do. I just wanted to remind you that whoever invented chips and salsa is in heaven right now. And I want you to consider what you've done with your life. Makes you think, doesn't it? But yes, chips and salsa are delicious. I need to find something stronger, though. For my salsa, need more spicy painness. I'm fully aware that spice is really pain and all of that, and it's still delicious. So technically, if you like spice, you are a masochist, like literally, because it's something you detect. That's really by your sense of technically pain, at least what you'd consider pain. It's a somatosensory thing, it's not a taste. There's very little that's actually taste. People don't really understand that. Most of what you experience when you're eating something is a combination of taste and smell. And really, all five senses. Less so hearing, but it generally requires everything. I also don't know why I made that guy a sniper. Oh, well, I should probably buy some stuff. Acid gun. One thing I have to say, the resources don't really seem like they come much faster, despite the level ups. The level ups seem pretty minor, which... There's no grinding in the game, so I can't complain that much about that. I am very glad that you keep grinding out of the game. Though, I guess it's a form of grinding when you're just sitting around waiting stuff for waiting for stuff to come up, but it's not like the run in a circle for 18 years while playing freaking Final Fantasy 4, so can't complain. I love that I end all of my statements complaining by saying I can't complain. Wonderful bit of maybe irony or something. Oh, it does have a counter. Maybe it just resets to the two dashes when it's out of ammo. Huh. Uh, more armors. More armor for more killing this. shouldn't entirely have to be said, but remember to base your purchasing decisions of like what armor and of what weapons on what perks you get. So like when you get the assassin perk, you should really get the sniper rifle perk too. And just make sure you build lots of sniper rifles and assassins. And if you're I really recommend that spray gun one, the grenade, because it's, it's free kills. Run out of ammo already. Thank you. No, see, it, it goes to zero, zero. It didn't... It was two dashes before. Why is that inconsistent? Inconsistent things annoy and horrify me. But it does that to your users, too, so always remember not to confuse and horrify the people you, that use your product. Now, usability seems like common sense and all of this stuff, but... Good lord, it is not... 
even my CS computer science professors do not. They have very little concept of usability as well. You'd think they would, but no. Then again, these are people that use command lines, so you know. There are times command lines are useful and stuff, but not not usually. Development is usually the only time you would need that. Even even managing computer policy, like IT administration, shouldn't particularly need command lines because you know. Pretty much everything can be a GUI tool, a graphical interface, and system administration can too. In fact, it's important in stuff like administration to see what all of your options are so you don't... Because if you just depend on command line, you depend on what you remember. If you forget to check something, there is usually nothing that's going to remind you. And users forget stuff. Everyone forgets stuff. You have to plan around that. Anyway, just sort of randomly harping on some usability stuff. I've had a very bad day as far as usability is concerned. Our university email system was horrific, and I want to murder whoever created it. Not literally for all of you people that freak out about violent rhetoric. But yeah, I hate it, and I want to beat them with a stick. A metaphorical stick. To metaphorical death. Because... Just nothing about it works right. And a friend of mine goes to a college that does... Their email is through... Um, it's through Gmail, which would be awesome. The best thing about Gmail, in that regard, is that... You know what? If you don't like Gmail, you can auto-forward all of your mail. And at least with a Gmail account, you can also send from multiple addresses from one account. So I'm used to all of my mail coming into one account, where I can read it all at once, and then I send from any address from that single account. But no! Our Hawkmail system, you have to go check it separately. And even when I have it set to download, for example, to my phone, it usually doesn't. So I missed some important email because of that, and I've had my email account shut down so it all gets forwarded. Which I did before and then I undid it because I wanted to be able to send from that address. It's just a whole massive clusterfuck for no reason and I hate it. It's very annoying because it was probably a CS major that did that. And I hate them thoroughly for it, but just because someone's in computer science doesn't mean they know a damn thing about usability or design. That's what human-computer interaction is for, and that's why it's very important, but lots of people don't understand that. And it's very unfortunate. And I feel like I'm rambling, but I honestly don't have much else to say, because this game is just going to kind of drag on. It's, it's nice that it has a fair amount of difficulty at this point. In fact, I may even die. But at the same time... It's just boring to watch, I mean. Also, when you're panicking, there's nothing you can do. I'm also dead, by the way. Hope you know that. Go acid gun guy. Go acid gun guy. Kill everything. Oh, crap. See, I'm probably gonna die. Stop shooting, stupid snipers! Oh crap, I can't believe I lost. That's ridiculous. I don't think I've ever lost before. Well, that was kind of sudden. Let's... I don't particularly have any better strategy of what to do with the talents. I'm going to end this video here, and... Well, no. Let's do the challenge level. Oh! One neat thing. You can see enemy level here. Let's see what enemy level that place was. Fifteen. 
So yeah, that's really hard, and this is easier. The challenge missions unlock as you beat each world. We haven't bothered to do them yet. So let's do them. They call me the doomed. I can see you found your way to the arena. I have a really dull voice. Don't think you will get any mercy here. I hope you can hear me from the microphone. Take your chance and rank with the elite. If you dare. Let's be freaking elite, shall we? Maybe we can get some elite equips on the way. My foot is asleep again, by the way. So yeah, this is the arena thing. You, It's a time, time trial, basically. And you can share your score and stuff if you're into that. I'm not into that. But if you are, that's cool, so go ahead and do it. Oh, and if you notice, the enemies have skull faces. I don't think it... I think it's just a cosmetic thing. But the enemies are relatively harder than the rest of the area. One second. Okie dokie smokey. Let's kill some more dudes. In their base. Etc, etc. I think that is the third time I've made that reference now. Acid gun. Kill that freaking sniper. No! Enemy snipers are very problematic. Having your own snipers can help alleviate that. In fact, the biggest problems you're going to face in this game are going to be enemy snipers. Acid Gunners, or Juggernauts. And the Freeze Gun isn't particularly effective against any of those. Because if you get close enough to use a Freeze Gun shot, you probably are going to die. In my opinion, the Freeze Gun either needs to be a lot more likely to freeze, it needs longer range, or it needs to freeze, it needs to shoot a lot faster. And it just... Currently, it's just not impressive at all. It's mildly annoying when it happens to you, but... See, theirs seems to freeze a lot more. But yeah, the only real reason I get the freeze gun is because... I want to have one of everything, because that's the most efficient way to do stuff. Well, at least it's my system of doing stuff. I'm not sure if the freeze gun even does as much damage as the normal laser shots. I hope it does. Um. Uh. You're actually probably better off upgrading the cheaper weapons more because the relative time cut is more significant here. See, you're close-ish. You're like 40% time down. Whereas here, it's... Well, what is that? About 30%? I think less than 30%. It's, it's still more than half a minute, but this time, it down here, it's like down to half a minute. I mean, it's all relative, but it at least seems to me like this cutting down from 45 to 34 is not really very significant. Not significant enough, anyway. But maybe that's fallacious thinking, I'm not sure. But if it is fallacious thinking, that's another thing you have to address if players don't use a weapon just because it seems like it's not helpful when it really is. That's something you might have to communicate around. 
you know, you can change people's preferences for weapons just by changing their names or their descriptions. Just making them seem badass will make people really think they are that much better. For instance, the assassin... I have no particular evidence that they actually help, but I know they are supposed to do that. And assassins seem badass. That's about the score I got before. Anyway, that's one last usability thing to think about, as... I missed a level! I missed two levels! And I tried this stupid level. Whatever, next time we will finish Fire Prison. I may quit this game prematurely because it's taking forever. I won't, but... Arrgh.